Hey everyone, welcome back to Keto Asian Flavors, it's Anne. In this video, I'm going to answer the two most commonly asked questions regarding my keto egg noodle recipe. Can we use fresh eggs instead of the egg yolk powder? And if we can make lasagna sheets from the same recipe. I'm currently working on a keto product line, so for the time being, I can only share this easy method for lasagna sheets. My lasagna recipe was developed a few months back and have already been tried, tested, and approved by a group of recipe testers. Using a saucepan or a small pot, boil the eggs. To make easy to peel eggs, bring a pot of water to a boil, add in the eggs. Cover the pot with a lid and cook for about 10 minutes. Prepare a bowl of cold water to cool the eggs before peeling. As mentioned in my black garlic soba noodle recipe, this tip was shared by Kenji. So far, it has worked every single time. He actually did a study with a group of people and tested different methods to easily peel the eggshells off without any special gadget or additional ingredient. He concluded with this method and it works like a charm. I will link his video in the description box. On low speed, add in the water and the hard-boiled eggs to a high-speed blender. We want to use hard-boiled eggs for the following two reasons. First, these noodles do not need to be cooked after softening so dehydrated egg powder or hard-boiled eggs will work best. Second, since this is a water-based recipe, adding raw eggs will add more liquid, which will result in a slightly different recipe. While the blender is running on low, add in the sea salt. Xanthan gum. Sodium alginate. And turmeric powder if using. Continue blending and secure the lid. Increase the speed to high and blend for at least 3 minutes. Add in more turmeric powder if desired. If making keto egg noodles, more color is needed to mimic the look of the original ones. If making keto spaghetti, a pale yellow should be okay. Turmeric powder is optional and is only used to naturally color the noodles. After 3 minutes of blending on high speed, the batter should be hot. You should be able to see a bit of the steam. They will also have some bubbles, so refrigerate for at least 30 minutes to cool and allow the bubbles to rise to the top. Meanwhile, prepare the calcium bath. Use calcium chloride or calcium lactate. Today, I want the noodles to be a bit firmer, so I'm using calcium chloride. If you would like to have softer noodles, use calcium lactate. Mix and dissolve the calcium chloride until the water turns cloudy to clear. After 30 minutes or more in the fridge, scoop out any bubbles sitting on top and discard. Squeeze the batter into the calcium bath while mixing the bath in one direction. Remember to extrude on the side and give it space to create a gel wall. Do not touch the noodles until it's fully set and firm. To make the no-waste lasagna sheets, leave the leftover batter in the blender and condiment bottle. Add water and some calcium chloride or calcium lactate. Let it sit for a few hours on the counter or in the refrigerator. Using a rubber spatula, scrape the sides to release the sheets. Pour it out and keep it in the calcium bath. These sheets are now ready to be used. You can soften it a bit if you wish. It really depends on how thin the sheets are. You might want to skip the softening method or just soften it just a bit. Don't over soften it if you're using it to make lasagna. You can also use it to make wonton sheets. To soften the noodles, add hot tap water to the bowl of noodles. Add in lemon juice and baking soda. There will be a chemical reaction to soften the gel walls. Depending on how hot your tap water is, adjust the softening time accordingly. Let it soak for a few minutes and continuously check the noodles for desired texture to avoid over softening. 
Rinse the noodles a few times using cold water and drain. It is now ready to be used. No cooking required. I hope you enjoyed this hack to make keto lasagna noodles using this updated keto egg noodle recipe. This will also work with my original version. For everyone who's having a hard time finding egg yolk powder or whole egg powder, I hope that you find this video helpful. This updated recipe is also great for anyone who does not want to use lupin flour. If you enjoy my recipes, please like this video, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to support me on Patreon, I will include the link in the description box. See you again very soon.